Sam. Hey, Sam Dimebag. Nice to meet you, man. You know, I think a lot of bands, when they first come out, it's kind of tough to even, you got to gauge where you're at, you know what I mean? It's hard to have that vision just completely 100% molded up in front, you know? Like we said, you know, we learned from uh, all the people we looked up to, you know, till we finally got to that level where we said, hey, man, this is us, this is how we're doing it, and we're the influencers on other people instead of being the influenced, you know? Also, we never ever bent for any of the trends that came through. Uh, I can think of a million interviews of people going, well, what do you think of this? Or when are y'all going to start doing that? Or bring a record scratcher in or whatever. It's like, you yeah, don't get it, bro, <laughs> you know? It's fucking straight up a steel rod, fucking right down the center. Let all the bullshit twist circles around it. We'll always be sitting there strong, you know? Dude, there ain't no other form of music that gets my blood pumping. Ain't nothing drives my life anything more than fucking steel. Just fucking charging. <laughs> drive better everything works better man <laughs> it's a way you know? like you said man the fans they live it they breathe it they know it they desire it they they give it when they come to the shows tell me about the craziest pantera moment that pantera car we drove around the other night how about that one this dude had a pantera should have been car in the philadelphia jail oh boy at least you were behind the wheel instead of my drone this guy had this pantera car that he dedicated totally to the band it was it was actually a pretty nice car, black and white, had all the lyrics, had all the song titles, had phrases that Philip said live from the stage before, had the big Pantera logo on it and everything, and this guy was insistent on two guys from the band driving his car, and it was like four in the morning, we'd been partying all night, and we're like, well, fuck, let's hop in this damn thing. So we hopped in, it took off, first thing we did, 60 miles an hour right into the curb, blew out the front right tire. Here we are in downtown Philly, we're lost, sparks are shooting out of the tire everywhere, we're looking at each other going, we're going to jail, Cheech and Chong in the house here, yeah. you know, I mean, it was, it was pretty <laughs> funny. Over, He's over. on the phone trying to get a hold of the tour manager, next thing you know, we almost hit this tour bus that's coming by, and lo and behold, it's our tour bus. They're like, here it comes this way, and we're going this way. <laughs> Anyways, all the crew guys got out, uh, helped change his tire, the dude was just jumping up and down, just practically in tears, oh, Pantera drove my fucking car, you know, and all this shit. Yeah. So. That was some good shit.